Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolve on the Fjorder map. Uh, in this episode, we are going to get started with breeding our uh, Therizinosaurus and also some sheep that I got. I showed you guys that in the opening sequence there. And uh, my son-in-law is also going to join up with me. He's actually been on the server, uh, but we haven't had a chance to, to hook up yet. So I'm, I'm going to go get him and bring him over into the tribe and he's gonna move to the base and so I'm on my way to pick him up. What's up going on dude? What's up? He <laughs> he spilled some beer in his in his mic so <laughs> his mic sounds kind of weird. <laughs> was it beer or what did you spill on your mic dude? Well, it's embarrassing to say it was just lemonade. Oh <laughs> that's okay. Lemonade Nothing or beer. Cool. Either one will completely ruin your mic so. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing even cool. I don't even have a cool story. No that's all good dude. <laughs> All right, so yeah, he's just over here on the on the beach, so I'm going to give him my um, my RG that I just lost because it's so much slower than the bat here. Where the hell did you go? I'm on my way back here. Okay. Really? Did did it get that far behind? Oh, you know, wait a minute. What? It couldn't have gotten that far behind, <laughs> or did it? It must have. Yeah, it did. Good lord. I guess I. Forgot how fast this bat really is. There he comes. So this this bird is the mate to my RG. You can have it if you want, uh, or you can I can loan it to you until you get your own. It doesn't matter to me. I'm, it's all good either way. All right, I'll get my own. You can loan it to me. Okay, I'll loan it to you. Cool. It's not like a a perfect tame either, but it's still a pretty decent level arch. So use it all you need to until you can get on your feet. So yeah, anyway, uh, you guys uh, saw in the opening sequence there that I lucked out and tamed um, a perfect tame female Therizinosaur. So we got the male in the, I guess it was the previous episode or the episode before that, I can't remember. So we're going to get those guys started breeding. I got some sheep too. Um, I, I want to keep those around primarily for, for mutton. We'll get those guys going and then we're going to keep looking... Uh, we still need to find um, a male, a high-level male Rex, and we need to get um, some Udys, too. So that's kind of what we're going to do after we get Batman here uh, situated. We're going to go out and do that stuff. So are you at your base, dude? Oh, wow, there's a Therizina at your base. Let's see what level Yeah, that's it. the guy that wiped out my hole. I can't even get close to my stuff. Okay, we'll, we'll take care of him for you. I... When I first started on this map, I had a Therizinosaur that was terrorizing me, too. Okay, he's dead. Uh, Are you someplace I can come and pick you up? Yeah, I gotta get my bag here, though. Okay. Oh, I see you. <laughs> nice body, dude. All right, I'm going to invite you to the tribe. <laughs> Swallows Maximus. <laughs> That's hilarious. So you should have an option to join up. There's no way those skinny legs of yours could hold up your upper body. <laughs> did you get, for the guy behind you. Did you see the, the invite? I did not see the invite, sorry. All right, hold on. Let's deal with this asshole. Okay, so let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, so you should have gotten an invite. There you go. Now you did. All right. Okay, so you can you can borrow granite here. Um, use them for whatever you need. Try not to kill them, but if you do, it's not that big a deal. Okay. Cool, man. All right. Um, oh, I got. I need to give you that cryopod for your dilo. I think he got lost on the way, but I have a baby in here, a baby now. Oh, sorry. He's right there. You're good. Where is he? Right here. Oh, okay. Um, I don't. You can't cry with a baby. I don't think you can, anyways. Oh, I can just kill him. That's fine. 
either that or you can stay here and raise them and then bring them back later if you want to. It's up to you. It's no biggie. Okay. Um, so you want to come with me so I can show you where the base is and then I'll let you do your thing. Sure. Do you need me to help you with anything? Uh, just let's see where the base is and then I'll come back and get my stuff. Okay. Cool. So when, uh, I know you've been on a couple of times, but I've missed you. When do you typically play? Uh, in the evenings. Okay, cool. Yep. So I, I play most evenings too, so, um... Hopefully we can have some adventures together. Yeah. Heck yeah. I know I know Joe has had some IRL stuff going on and I think Mythical said he was gonna be back on this weekend, so hopefully we can right. get get the whole gang together. That'd be fun. Yep. Alright, so let's grab our two Therizinosaurs that we have tamed. We've got a perfect tame male, a perfect tamed female. Oh, and I also want to grab the two Avas that we grabbed, um, that we got. These are not, per, you know, max levels, but I don't care about that for the, those guys. And let's head on over here, and we're going to do some breeding. So what I think we'll do for the Avas is... Are you, what are you? You're a female too. Okay, so maybe we'll do both of them so this is also a female so what we'll do is we'll put whoops we'll put her right here all right and then we'll put the ram in between the two there we go okay and let's go ahead and Enable mating on all of these guys. And we'll get some more sheep going here. And let's also... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Crap. Um, let's give these guys a little bit of weight so that way we can hop on them and ride them around a little bit. Uh, but we should give them some health too. Just give you this one we're probably gonna slaughter well we don't need to slaughter any of them right at the moment because we still have a decent amount of mutton but later on we will that's that's their whole purpose for existence just to feed us i know it's cruel but it's just the way the world goes can i get on you and back you up a little bit i can look at that okay cool all right so let's see you have an hour and 20 minutes yeah okay so it's gonna be a little while for those guys pop out of baby lamb um, for the Theras, uh, let's just put those right in front of the barn here. I like the colors on this one, too. Look at that. I think this is the one we pulled out of the autumn bound up in the north, uh, northwest there. And then the one that I got yesterday is kind of a nice white... White color, white and gold. Let's see. Yeah, a little kind of, I guess, white and greenish. Okay, I want to put a couple saddles on these guys. And let's also... Uh, let's see. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to go to behavior. And I want you to be passive. And same thing for you. Man, I really like the colors on this one. Behavior. Passive. And then let's go ahead and get you started with your Therizinosaurus sex. Nobody watch while this is happening now. This is a private moment here. Enable mating. Behavior. Enable mating. Okay. So. Oh, wow. She's going to pop out an egg right really fast. It's way faster than the... Hmm. That almost seems like something needs to be tweaked. Because these guys are taking a million bazillion years, and the egg's, like, happening almost instantly. Well, not instantly, but super fast. I'll have to talk to Joe about that. 
Um, let's see. For you guys' stats... I think... Actually, you know what? I should record these stats. Wait, did you just have your baby? Oh, no. Your egg, rather. Sorry. Okay, let's pick up that egg. And we're going to put it right inside the incubator here. And let's grab these two Denonicus eggs. Or no, I guess we need to hatch them directly from here. Okay, and uh, likewise here, hatch egg. And claim. No, claim. What the hell? There we go. I was hitting the other one. Okay, good. So the nanny should take care of them. Let's bring them over here a little bit. Come on over here, little guys. Okay, so you stay there. Nanny's got food in him. Let's have you behavior fall a distance low. Come over here a little closer. And you have food too? Yep. Okay, so Nanny will take care of this. So this is a, um, a high-level male and a high-level female. Uh, oh! Well, your dialogue just got waxed. <laughs> Did you do that? Yeah. Did you see that message? Your Dilo just got killed. Yeah, something got it. Or maybe it starved. In fact, if we look in the tribe log... Uh, where's the tribe log? It just said it was killed. Oh, no, yeah, it starved to death. That's what happened. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, anyway, um, you have... Some berries, some fish, and some meat. Okay, so you're doing okay. And you have to wait an hour and 11 minutes for you're ready to mate again. Okay, so uh, we got some, I don't know. Oh, it's Therosina Wake. Wait, what? Why? Okay, wait a minute. Why is this also showing up? Oh, it's not. Never mind. I, I have. Okay, I'm a noob. <laughs> I wasn't actually opening it. It just looked like I was. Okay, so we're good. We got this. Okay, so we got the Denonicus coming up. Um, the main reason I have these, by the way, is because they. I, I don't know if I explained this in the last episode, but these guys drop the specialty uh, eggs that you need for the high end, the really high end um, kibble. So that's why I want to have some of them around. Which we need, by the way, for the Uteranus, too, when we when we find one. Okay, I was going to do one other thing. Uh, I'm trying to remember what it was. Can't remember now. So, let's see. Yeah, jeez, man, that is going to take forever. I don't know, though. The timer seems weird on that because it's already at 8%. I don't know if that time is correct or not. We'll just have to wait and see what happens, I suppose. All right, so you guys, I think because you're breeders and it's very unlikely that, well, that's not true. We might actually take you out and level you guys. So let's do this. Let's get your health to 10,000. Let's get your stamina to 2,000. Weight doesn't matter really with you guys. Um, actually, before I put any more points in, let's let's make a couple of saddles, and I just want to take them for a spin because I don't remember how fast they are. If they're really slow, we might want to give them a little bit of speed too. Saddles. Do I have a theory saddle in here? I've got one. Nice. That's a journeyman. Okay, so. 
do I have a blueprint for a Thery saddle? Let's go here. Thery. No, that's Megatherium. Okay, so we're going to have to learn the Ingram for uh, Therizinosaurus saddle. And we'll have to make one. Which I'm sure we have to probably do in here. So let's go Thery Xenosaurus. We want one. Pull all the stuff in for that. Let's put these um crowd pods in here for now. I'll keep one on my on my guy. Okay. Give you the journeyman saddle and you the normal saddle. Okay, so. Yeah, that's not crazy fast, but we don't really need a fast Therizina. We need a tough and hard hitting Therizinosaur. So, okay, we got you to 10,000 there. Let's get you up to. 15,000 for now. And then I think we're going to put all the rest of these points into melee damage. Well, hold on. Let me let me see what its stand is like. It depends upon what we're leveling it for is, is the thing. Um, we're leveling it for boss fights. The only thing that matters is health and damage. Because we'll be on Euteranuses or Deodons most likely. Yeah, its stamina is actually really good. It's not. It's hardly gone down. I think we can use these guys to harvest fiber too. Oh yeah, look at that, man. That's awesome. If we right click, do we get berries? Nope. Oh, cool. He can get the. Uh, it's thatch. Yeah, I think these guys are actually supposed to be really good at getting fast, too, if I remember right. Okay, anyway, um, let's go ahead and throw the rest of these points into melee damage. And then we'll, we'll kind of see where we are from there. So this is definitely going to be a damage-dealing theory, but we can also get it, use it for thatch, too, which is nice. And again, love the colors. Very cool looking. Okay, so we took you up to 15,000 health, 2,000 stamina, and then put the rest into melee. We're probably going to do the same thing with you. Oh, that brought you up to 16,000. <clears> yeah, we don't... We don't, we don't need to put stamina in these guys. So now your your melee damage is ten thousand. So you you actually had more health but less melee, and you got up to twelve eighty one with some stamina points on top of that. So yeah, this one definitely had better. I, I've got a, a picture of the original stats by the way. Uh, but this one definitely had better um, starting melee. So yeah, this thing's going to be a beast. Okay. Assuming we, assuming we use these guys though for fighting, we probably we might we might not. Well, more more than likely we'll be using their offspring, which will be even better. But we'll see how things go. We don't need any of that crap. Okay, so you guys. Um, Let's put you on neutral, so that way you can help patrol the yard if something bad comes in here. Most likely, if that happened, it would be from the sky. 
Um, stance neutral. Very good. Okay. That is awesome. That is fan freaking tastic. What do we have? Four eggs over here. One dodo egg. That's it, huh? Hmm. I would have thought that these guys, especially the Denonicus, would have been. They're in the range of the. They got the like the pulsating egg. I don't know why they're not laying more eggs. Unless there's we got a funky setting on the server. I have to talk to Bar uh, to Joe about that. They should be laying mo way more eggs than that. I would think. Okay, cool. So, let's see here. You probably don't have any eggs at all in your thing, no. I'm mostly just using that guy for for egg production, even though it doesn't seem to be working. Do we have any eggs in here? No. Yeah, something is definitely wrong. <laughs> we should have tons of eggs. I have to talk to Joe about that. All right, let's put this stuff in here. Fiber goes in there too. This fiber actually needs to go here. Put the flowers and the shrooms there. I made a, um, a bunch of uh, sweet veggie cakes too, by the way. I went up and hit some of those rocks with the honey on them and then had all the other stuff uh, for taming the Avis. And of course, we can use them for other things too. All right, so let's see. What do we want to do for the rest of this episode? We could go look for a Rex or a Yudi. The thing is, is I'm not, I'm not quite sure I'm completely ready to tame a Yudi. Let me look at something here. Okay, I just sent you a message on Discord telling him that we have a problem with egg lane. Um, all right, what I was going to do is take a quick look at Dota Dex. Uh, let's go U Tyrannus. We need... Oh, you know what? We can use mutton for these guys. It's almost as good as, as the kibble, the extraordinary kibble. Plus, we can do a sanguine elixir, too. All right, so we, we can definitely tame it in terms of food. A perfect level UD is on our server is going to take 27 trank darts, which is pretty, pretty easy. Um, trying to see, does it have? It doesn't have a headshot multiplier, so we can shoot it any place. Yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we go take a cruise up in the mountains and see if we can spot ourselves a a big UD. Now, taming a Yudi is a big royal pain in the ass because of their fear. But uh, we'll do the best we can. Let's go here. Let's try you in here. So this thing is like, actually, I just need to look here, right? No, here. So it's over, already over halfway done. Nice. How far along are you guys? Okay, so you're 26%. Um, I should probably now that I think about it. You're 26. Yeah. <clears throat> I should set a timer. Just so I don't forget. Let's set it for 55 minutes, we'll say. Okay, let's head up into the snow and see if we can spot ourselves a Uteranus that would be worthy of a tame. You know what? I need to, I need to drink something. Here, we'll just stop with this little stream here. There we go. And uh, you know, we might we might find our male rex up here too that would also be good <clears throat> i 
Let's put our fur armor on. on that owl. I've got a max level wolf in the cryo fridge, but I can't remember if it's a male or a female. Oh, here's a Yudi. Let's see what level this Yudi is. It's uh, level tw uh, 20, I think. Yeah. Let's just kill it. You know, after he's done scaring us. Oh, <coughs> it shouldn't have landed that. What the hell, man? This isn't good. They don't usually land when they get scared. I don't know why the hell he did that. Alright. Pissing me off. Kill that you, Tyrannus? Where did it go? Oh no, it's over here. Yeah, we don't, we don't want to leave any low levels alive, so new ones will spawn in. We are also on the lookout for a perfect level or max level um, male Argentavis. But they're a little bit easier to come by, so I'm not looking too hard for them. Okay, well, let's head over to this little snow area across the canyon and see if uh, there's a ute over there. Okay, here's one. Let's see what level it is. It is a level 50. Nope. Not what we were looking for. Y'all just need to die. Wait a minute. Shouldn't I have... Oh. What's this? A Tropaganatha... egg. Alright, I'll take that. I don't know what kind of... Um, what level that egg is considered, but we'll take it. That's an oil deposit. Put a a well on that. Whereabouts are we at? Let me see. Oh, the stupid ghillie suit. I don't know why Wildcard hasn't fixed that. It's been that way since day one, since the ghillie suit was introduced to the game. All right. Well, we've um pretty much circled around this mountain. So let's uh, head over up to the northwest and take a look in that snow biome. See if we can see anything. That's like so cool. See under the ocean with the night vision. We could uh, use this to see if we can spot a basilis basilosaur. I haven't seen one yet, but I haven't really been in the ocean other than just around this area. So I'm not sure where they spawn at. Okay, there's a Yudi. Let's see what level it is. It's a 130 male. Hmm. 
Yeah. I'd maybe consider it if it was a 140, but 130 is just a little bit on the low side. Not to mention it's getting the shit kicked out of it. Alright, since we're at the artifact of the Hunter Cave, let's just fly in here really quick and check the loot crates. Apprentice Stego Saddle Blueprint and Journeyman Hide Hat. <laughs> no bat bats in here. They must not have repopped since the last time I killed them. Mastercraft Chitin and Journeyman Slingshot. Man, all that great. It's a 60. Nope. Not good enough. Time, this time he didn't land. Of course, getting stuck on a rock's not going to help a whole lot. Alright, he did. I don't actually care about those Carnos. Oh, you know what, though? I think he probably dropped the heart. Where do we kill that guy? Right over here? Yeah. Okay, well, we've gone pretty much full circle around this snow biome. And we have not found any more UDs. Well, no, that's not true. We found two or three more, but we haven't found any more high-level UDs, is what I meant to say. So, I think what we'll do is before we wrap up this episode let's head over to the swamp i'm still looking for a high level male baryonyx um, and i'll just have to keep looking you know for the uti i, I don't want to i probably will take something you know i probably take a 140 but anything lower than that probably not Is that over there? Oh, it's an Anki. <laughs> okay. All right, let's head over to the swamp and just see if uh, there's any prospects for a, a nice male baryonyx. Because I want to take the male with our female down under the sea for the mate boost and, of course, the extra extra firepower. One thing I've noticed is there seems to be an accumulation of critters. Uh, like there's an ammonite right there, some anglefish, some eurypids, a jelly. They all like kind of hang out in this shallow water. A bunch of eels there. Wow, look at all the eurypids. We could come over here and get some black pearls. Oh, there's a donkey. Level is it? Eh, it's 55 female. I'd consider a male, but we already got a pretty high level female. Okay, here, let's lay in for a second. I want you on neutral, and I want you following me directly in case I get uh, knocked off by a capro. And let's see if we can find a berry. I wouldn't mind, uh, I, I may have already said this to you guys, I wouldn't mind nabbing a couple of low-level Spinos just for their eggs. Um, so, we'll keep that in mind, too. And let's also put this armor back on. a 
There's a spine over there. Ooh, that's a 145. That is not a low level spine. Likey. All right. Well, I haven't seen any baryonyx at all in the swamp. Uh, there's a couple of lakes in the canyon over here that have them. However, getting kind of close to uh, the time for those baby sheep to be born. So don't think we have enough time to go do go look for those others. So I'm going to head back, uh, excuse me, to the base. Probably gather up a couple metal nodes while we wait for those sheep to be born. Okay, so we've got a male theory egg that's ready. Let's grab that out of the... Or nope, I keep doing this wrong. We just select it and hatch. There we go. Look at you. Kind of cute. Uh, we're going to call you Baby One. Actually, I'm going to call you Baby Male One. So I'm going to start keeping a log um, for this. And then the nanny should give you food. Yep, she did. Okay. Right, come over here. Baby Theory. Now, um... I think these are the actual stats, right? Um, I'm trying to remember if these are their stats or we have to wait till they, till they grow. I can't remember. It's got 7,000 health. 1300. Yeah, these must be their the stats they come out with. So, all right. Um, you are gonna be ready to mate in about a minute. Oh, I need to tell this little fella to quit following me. Okay, you stay there. And let's see. The sheep have seven. Seven minutes. So we might as well get these guys doing the naughty again here. The naughty naughty. And I'm going to get you ready to go grab some metal. Just go over there for a second. Oh, I was going to make um, a spyglass. Keep forgetting to do that. Or not a spyglass, I'm sorry, a magnifying glass. Don't think we have a blueprint for that. Not that I'm aware of. Oh, okay. They're made it again. Yeah, the, the egg lane process is too fast and the gestation process is too slow. There we go. Let's grab the new fairy egg. Slide it in here. And it is a female. Level 231. Okay, how much time we got? Four and a half minutes. There we go. Baby Avis and Baby Avis. There, we got it. Okay. <laughs> Nanny's taking care of them. 
And you know what? Actually, we can just keep them here in the pen. We don't need to take them in the in the thing with us. Make you passive. Yeah, we'll just let them stay there because the nanny can reach them. And I don't really care if they're imprinted or not because they're just there for meat. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. Um, I'm going to keep looking for Rexes and Baryonyxes and <laughs> um, those in those ones in particular. And then when I when I do find, you know, what I'm looking for, we'll either start the next episode or I'll at least record the, you know, uh, the footage of taming it so you can see that. And then uh, I don't know what we'll do in the next episode. We'll figure it out for sure. Uh, we might go on a, another sea adventure or we might try a, um, some new caves that we haven't been in. So we'll just kind of see how it goes. You know, I also, I've had a few of you guys tell me in the comments about the other realms on this map and at some point we need to you know visit those too i know there's a cave somewhere like maybe 40 on the 40 60 line ish that has portals to the realms and i think if we just hold down the r key Oh, wait, we have to be off the bird first. We can go to Asgard. Belmheir. Well, Vandaland and Vardaland are just the normal map. They're just different areas. But Asgard, and I think, isn't Jotunheim the volcano? I'm pretty sure it is. But this goes to Asgard, and this goes to Bel, Belheimer. Um, can we look at this again for a second. Yeah, it doesn't really tell us on the map which, which place is which. So anyway, the point being is, um, I wanna, I wanna check those places out too because I haven't been there yet, and um, so that will be coming in an in an upcoming episode as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.